try to get up. Hi everyone, so this is just going to be a video about, um, so I can show you Pip's injury. Um, so you can see it close up because I know I talked about it, um, but I've not been able to show you. So I've got him and Jack up in my room, because um, as you might have noticed they're not in the house anymore, they're in the garage, um, which has been nice and cool for them um, during the hot weather, so I'm a bit out of breath, I've just been to get them. Um, so I thought I'd bring them up just so I can film them out of the tank so you can see them properly. Um, so if I can just get him. I don't know if you can see. Oh, it's. I don't know if you can see his nose. Are you a bit shocked? Your eyes have gone really big. Um, but his nose um, looks a lot better, actually. I've not looked at it today. Um, hopefully, it's focusing. I'm not quite sure. But um, hang on, here's a treat. Don't bite my legs. Don't bite my legs. Um, I might put him back in a minute. Put him back. <laughs> He's getting a bit fidgety. Um, but hopefully you could see that. Wait, let me have a look. The swelling is really is going down. And you can kind of see where the bite was. Um, but it was like really, really red and sore. Um, it has been the past few days since it happened but at the moment it's gone like pink kind of like it's new skin um, coming through from the scab so the scab's obviously come off which I'm really really happy about um, so it looks like he's going to be okay I'm not going to have to take him to the vet or anything because I was really worried it was like a lump and I was worried he'd be left with that um, and that maybe it was really painful for him but he seems fine um, and then I'll show you Jack seeing as he's here um, because he's come upstairs with his brother. <laughs> Do an almond. That's about ten. Um, but to be honest, I feel really bad about this as well. They're not completely used to being held and like eaten in my hand. Um, because I don't, because I have so many gerbils now, I don't really tend to hold them for that long amount of time um, I just hold them, I do hold them every day I hold them in the evening before I take the wheels out of the cages and normally feed them um, but I only, feed, I only hold them for a few minutes and I don't normally hand feed them while they're in my hand so they're not really as used to it as they, as they were which is kind of sad but it really doesn't take long to get that back if I wanted to but having so many I don't really have the time to sit like half an hour with each one that would be like so long if you do the maths. <laughs> um, that would be such a long part of my day. Um, and to be honest, they're they're not like completely wild. They do let me hold them and stuff for treats, but um, they're not as tame as they could be. Uh, but they seem quite happy. And honestly, I prefer to watch them more than hold them. You know, with having so many, I think if I just had a pair, I'd rather be I'd rather them be more tame around me. Um, but as I have um, nine, including Woody, that's going to go, um, they seem to keep each other quite a, um, company quite a lot of the time, so um, it's not like a big issue. Um, but yeah, he's fine with letting me hold him. Um, come on, don't show me up. And like, have a look at his injury. Yeah, you can clearly see it was a bite mark. Hopefully you can see. <laughs> You're all sweaty. Making it me all sweaty. So yeah, it's kind of warm in my room, so I think I'm gonna put there's a fan behind me that I think I'm gonna put on anyway, but these guys will go back in the garage and it's nice and airy down there because they're they're right by the back door and we normally have that open. Um it's onto like an enclosed garden so no cats or anything can get in. Um and yeah, I just basically um, made this video to show you that because I guess, like I said, I'll show you in the last video and then it cut off so it didn't. Um, and because I'm filming on my actual camera, hopefully you got some good um, shots, like a good 
zoomed in shot, but um, I'm not really sure if you did or not. Yeah, so thanks for watching, and I'll be making more, vi more videos very soon, and thanks to all the people that have sent really nice messages or comments about um, the, the last video and about the gerbil fight that they did have. Um, obviously it's really difficult having to let one of them go, having to give them away, um, but I'd rather he was um, with was in a home where he can get a lot more attention um, because I, and I don't really have the space to house him on his own because um, he'd have to go in a gerbler room or something and I don't have I only have like that small spare cage now because I sold the other ones when I switched to tanks so um, yeah hopefully he'll go to a nice home I'm still waiting to get some pies but um, fingers crossed so thank you very much for watching and please keep your requests coming because I will be uploading some videos soon. Thank and also, um, a lot of people have been asking me where I get my gerbil tanks from. Um, and I thought about doing a video about it and then I'm not really sure whether to do that still or whether to try and incorporate it into a different video or not. Um, but I just tell people that I got them off eBay because I think I did get all three off eBay. Um, but basically I'll show you how to how I search for them because um, maybe it's like a different way that you might um, I don't know tell me what you think and um, the people that want to know because um, I did say I'd make a video about it but it's up to you guys what you want to see because maybe a video just about that will be a little bit boring um, but yeah, I don't really know what, what much else to tell you other than they're from eBay. Um, yeah, because you can get some really good bargains for old fish tanks on there. Um, but yeah, um, just let me know what you think. So, um, I also want to say thanks so much to all my subscribers. Um, I, I think I'm almost at 500. Um, it's been quite slow but steady um, increasing, obviously. I don't always post videos that often, so. Um, but I really appreciate everyone that subscribes to my channel and says that they like watching my videos. So thank you very much and um, I'll see you soon. Bye. Everybody get up.